Here I am in Audio Design Desk, and I want to do a sound pass of one of my favorite films, Mad Max Fury Road. I tend to start with sound design, so I'll add a drone by pressing D and a bed by pressing B. If I want my drone to be shorter, I can press Command down until it's the length I want, and if I want it longer, I can press Command up. Next I go to the major moments of a scene, and this clip builds up to a car explosion. So I want to find the exact moment of the explosion, and I can use the arrow keys to scrub by frame. Now there, I want to set my intensity to 4 and 5 so I get the most intense sounds for the moment. Then I'm going to press R twice to layer 2 risers, and H twice to layer 2 hits. Sounds good! But if I want to change a sound, I can select it and press Command R to randomly replace it within selected parameters. Alternatively, I can select a sound and click the replace button. Now I want to add some explosions where the two cars crash. I find the moment and press Option G to bring up the magic marker where I can search for sounds. Here you can set specific parameters and audition different sounds. Once you find the sound you like, you can double click it or press return to send it to the timeline. Then I'm going to option shift drag to create a duplicate while maintaining sync. Then I can press shift R on the copied explosion to bring up the mini library, where I can audition other explosions and select a new one to layer with my original explosion. Now this scene has a lot of cars driving by and I can perform them while watching the video. I go to the search panel and type drive by. Then I organize the results by duration so I can find the shortest sounds to match the pace of the scene. I select the top six sounds and drag them onto trigger one. I go back to the timeline and press L to play the video at one third speed. When I see a car drive by, I press the one key and a marker will be placed. Then I press the space bar to stop playback and sounds will be placed at the position of the marker. I can select a sound and use the greater than less than keys to nudge a sound by a frame. I notice one of the sounds isn't quite fast enough so I press E to switch to the time stretch tool and make it a little faster. All right, let's hear this. Moving ahead, I finish adding all of my sound design fully in music. I decide that I want to add an effect to one of my sounds, so I solo it by clicking S, then I press Shift G to bring up the region effects window. I search for the desired effect, select it, and the plugin window will pop up. Here I can change the parameters of the effect as well as select a preset. Now that I've added the effect I would like, let's listen to it. Now I'm ready to bounce my work by pressing Command B. Here I can choose to export the audio file, a multi-channel wave, or even the video. In this case I want to export the project to Final Cut Pro. So I go to the file menu, select export, then AAF or XML. I click the drop down menu to select Final Cut Pro XML, and then I make sure to render the regions with effects. I can change other export settings, organize the timeline to prevent overlapping, and include the video. Once that's exported, I can go into Final Cut Pro, go to the file menu, select import, select my project, and open it up. Now my audio design desk sound pass of Mad Max Fury Road is in Final Cut Pro. Let's listen. <laughs> 